Hello everyone, this is Oak Chef Cooker, and unfortunately, without a certain attachment for the quest, I won't be able to upload videos from my quest directly. However, I found a way around that. Since it goes live to Facebook, why not just record the videos there? So, that's what I'm going to do. I set up a recording window around around the Facebook screen, around my live video of me playing Rec Room, and my name there is Gearboy20M, capital M, and my nickname is, of course, my channel name, Orc Chief Gamer. So if you're interested in joining me there, you know my username and you can look me up. I also have other games for my quest, which I'll be glad to stream to Facebook and then record. And hopefully, when I get the, the cord that connects my quest to my computer, I'll be able to somehow record the device using the feature on Bandicam, or hopefully have to do something else, I don't know. But to be honest, I may just do this because it's easier. Why stream the game to Facebook, record it for YouTube, upload it, and let you watch it? At least you know I do have a quest. However, I'm a little strat for cash. So, I may not be able to play your requested game right away. But I do have a few free games like Bait, Echo VR, Rec Room, VR Chat, and my avatar is currently a character from Hell of a Boss, which I found out a day after getting it. Uh. I also have Epic Roller Coaster, V Spatial, which doesn't really work without the said attachment, uh, YouTube and Netflix, which is free, uh, and I think that's it. No, oh, and Shooty Fruity. But I don't think I'm good enough yet to actually film that game. But, this was a 20 minute video I made of a room called Test Parkour 2, where I speed run all three climbing areas. So, let's go. Okay, apparently that doesn't work. The one with the red, red and white is by far the tallest. So, I decided to get it over with first. And there's lag. Great. And what's worse, no sound. But I guess since some users can be a little bit chatty, I guess that's use that's useful. And at some points you do in fact have to jump in order to make the next obstacle. And it's climbing rooms like this I usually spend most of my time in order to get some exercise. I never really leave my room, and even more so thanks to this pandemic. So, 
I figured I'd start adding exercise along with my one mile walk. Now I screwed up there, but thankfully I managed to climb my way back up quickly. Well, this one's a little bit difficult. There is a distinct path going up, but if you can't reach the things, you're basically stuck. Now for this one you can either choose to go up the hearts or go up the red strip. Obviously it's faster with the red strip. Now this side you want to go on the right in order to reach those yellow pegs. And at this point, I would advise for those with height problems, do not look down. Like I said, the white one is the tallest one out of all of them. So you look down and you're not at the very top, you're not going to like what you see.
Yeah, at that point I was trying to tell you guys something, but as there's no audio, I would have to tell you here. After you complete each one of the wall runs, well, wall climbs, you need to fall all the way down in order to get to another one. This red one is by far the fastest. And for this wide climbing section, I would recommend trying to go to the right.
Now we're coming to the hardest part of the black wall. The red ring climb. There's an easy path near the left side. And now we're coming to the most difficult one. The gray and purple. Also the second tallest. It has an easy start, but unfortunately, it can get difficult. Why I jumped down from that first ledge and not just continued from there, I have no idea. Uh, but it's my choice. Okay, coming up to the next part. And soon to what makes it so difficult. At that point, I was telling, wait until Chris, saying this, wait until Chris sees this. I was stuck at that obstacle for so long, and Chris himself said this one was hard, and he was the one who showed me this room. While we were working on a studio for our new talk show, which we still have yet to name.
at that point I was uh, pointing at that huge thin pillar in the, near the center of the map. Apparently some user I was playing with at the time told me that blue thing was infinite. I didn't believe him and ended up climbing it for a solid hour. Going far above the other the rest of the map. And of course there's also two there's also two obstacle courses here. One with and one without checkpoints. That one is the one with checkpoints. And yesterday I managed to make make it past the first part, though not easy. It gets much easier after you beat the first part, which is a simple wall run and climb. However, I became stuck at the second part, so I may need more practice. I'd say the only thing getting, I mean, climbing that blue pillar up will do is just give you a good view of the entire map. Because you won't be able to get anywhere if you try to throw yourself off. Also, that's another, another uh, thing there. I actually had that on camera. And it looks like that's the end of the, th the clip. So, I'm going to end it here and get this uploaded. Also, I think after I do, I'll upload another live stream of rec room. Goddamn mustache. I'll upload another live stream of rec room. And if anyone's interested in joining, I'll be in the I'll be in the test parkour two, climbing the tallest tower. This has been Orc Chef Cooker, 
Signing out.